Welcome back to another thing. We're going to talk more about the Affordable Care Act. We're proud to be joined by Senator Robert Singer, who represents Ocean and Monmouth County. It's important to point out that uh, you are a Republican in, in this debate. I think most people know that. And uh, also, you're on the Health Committee. Yes. Um, is the Affordable Care Act working it's, in New Jersey? It's struggling. It's struggling in New Jersey. And, and part of the reason for it being struggling is the way that it was crafted on the federal level. Uh, for example, um, the exchange. Uh, we never knew what the federal exchange was going to look like, but the way the federal government put it was, if you opted to be your own exchange, you couldn't come back to the federal exchange. So many states, about 19 states, opted to go with the federal plan because if you're in the federal plan, you can do your own state plan if you don't like it. Well, we waited intelligently, went for, opted for the federal plan to see what it was like, and it's been slow coming. And, and unfortunately, a lot of people haven't signed up yet. Many people claim that the governor opted for the federal plan because he knew it wouldn't work that way and that it would look bad for President Obama, it would look bad for the Democrats to have a plan that was going to fail. Not true. Think about this. If you didn't take the federal plan and you opted to go your own way and it didn't work out, you had no options. If you opted for the federal plan and you didn't like it, you can create your own plan. So it would be intelligent, if you think about it, go with the federal plan, see how it works, and if you don't like it, you can always change it and do your own exchange. So I think that was the right thing to do. Nineteen other states did it, and it certainly wasn't politics. It was Nineteen other states with Republican governors did it. That's true. And but then you look up in New York, and it's working better, and they chose to have their own state exchange. Well, but let, let me share something about it. You know, I met with the people that did Obamacare. Obamacare. And, and I met with the people that, 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 that talked about Massachusetts. And we met with these legislators in Massachusetts. They came down here and talked to us. Number one is the reason why Massachusetts went to that plan was they had a Medicaid waiver that, that sent the late Senator Kennedy had gotten for them that was going to expire. They had to find a way to use that money or they were going to lose it. And they realized after they did it, it was a temporary fix, not a permanent fix. And there are two major problems with it. Number one is they didn't charge enough money if you opted out. And number two is they didn't realize the long wait to get to doctors. Now everybody had insurance. Two major problems. Meanwhile, what did the federal government do? Didn't charge enough if you opt out and turned around and said, well, we're not doing anything more about doctors. Having more doctors doesn't matter. So the two things that failed in Massachusetts are also failing on the federal level. Let's take it one step further with it. You know, the federal government talks about uh, health care and providing health care and not doing anything for the undocumented. Not true. FQHCs, federally funded health clinics, they're building throughout the country. They take care of the undocumented. They're spending billions of dollars of taxpayers' money to deal with the undocumented population. We're paying for it, but they kind of hid it under Obamacare, saying, no, we're really not doing anything for them, but they are. So I think very honestly, if we take a look at Obamacare, uh, one of the great things we want to talk about is be able to buy insurance across states. Well, you can't do that. Right, I know. And, and it would be great in New Jersey if you could do it, because you have the second highest cost to Wyoming, is what I heard. 30 different special things we have in New Jersey that other states don't have. They're great things, by the way. And that rises the cost? The cost that goes up because it, of that's that? That's why we're more expensive. But here's the problem. If you're self-insured in the ERISA programs, the, fed, you know, the large companies, they're exempted from state regulations. The federal government, the local plans are not. So therefore, if I buy a plan in the state of New Jersey, even though it's a federal plan, I have to meet all the state mandates. That drives the cost up tremendously. So therefore, if I live in Pennsylvania, I pay a lot less. Even if I live in New York State, I pay a lot less. We started off the conversation you talking about, uh, you went with the federal exchange instead of the state exchange because you could always go back to that if it didn't work out. Do you think that New Jersey should go to a state exchange now? I think now we can start looking at it. Uh, we, we've seen some of the, the pitfalls of the federal exchange. Now we can make it better. We couldn't do that originally. No one had any idea what the federal was going to look like. And we had to start uh, from scratch setting up our own exchange. Now now we've, we've learned from that a little bit. We can, we can really kind of tee off on that and make things the right way. So I'm thinking that down the road we'll probably have our own exchange. How far down the road? I would say within the next year or two. So is this legislative session, it's going to be discussed? It's going to be discussed. Uh, again, keep, keep in mind is we still have people thinking Obamacare is working great in this state. Um, mostly the Democratic Party. But those of us that are in the trenches, those of us who have, have worked in health care, realize the pitfalls of it and how well it's not working. Um, so I'm hoping that there's going to be some major overhaul, major changes, and I think realistically what you're going to start to see is they're ratcheting down Medicare. We are the second oldest state in the country. This affects the seniors of our state. When they find out they just can't go to any doctor they want to go and they can't go for a second opinion in the way, you're going to start to see the buildup of anger in the senior communities. And, and very, very honestly, uh, 
We see hospitals that deal with large Medicare populations having serious financial problems. Uh, this is something long term for us that we're going to have to deal with. I have a friend that works in the insurance business and he said the problem he saw with Obamacare very early on is that a deal was struck with the insurance companies and they never cap costs. And as long as you don't cap costs, the insurance companies say we'll do anything you want, we'll just pass along the cost to the consumer. Should, should costs be capped? Again, you know, we have the best health care in the world. I don't care what anybody tells you statistically about all the places. We have the best health care in the world. Um, if you want the best health care, you're going to have to pay for it. Part of the problem is we don't want to tax some of the problems. We have to take a look at, at malpractice insurance and how that, that's affecting the cost of, of health care nationwide and take a look at maybe changing some laws. Uh, it's, it's, it's not easy to do, but we've done it, for example, hospitals. You know, in the state of New Jersey, hospitals and maximum exposure is like $10,000. There's a, there's a cap, otherwise you put them out of business. You gotta take the same thing for doctors. You have to take a look at that. Uh, and by the way, uh, with FQHCs, if a doctor works for an FQHC, the federal government pays his malpractice. So they, they really- end up paying that in our premiums. Exactly right. Yeah. So I'm saying you have to, look, that's one aspect of it. I think the other aspect of it is, uh, um, we, we kind of over-test, and that's kind of be based on, on, on the thing we're talking about, malpractice. I mean, instead of someone going in and getting an x-ray to start, right away they want the MRI. Right. Well, it's nice to want the MRI, right? Look at the difference cost between an x-ray and an MRI. But, uh, you know, we ha I have to wrap up, but that's one of the things people see, and that's one of the things people don't like, is they feel like they have to cut back on their treatment because of, uh, be, because of the cost now. Yeah, but one last factor we have to understand. We're living longer lives than ever before. My mother-in-law, just at 81, she's going to shoot me for telling you that, 81, just had full hip replacement. She was out of the hospital the next day, and she's walking around. That's phenomenal. Yeah, no, it is. It is. And thank you so much. I appreciate you coming in. Thanks for having me. Thanks a lot, Senator. Senator Robert Singer, who uh, represents Monmouth and Ocean County, talking more about Obamacare and good luck in the new legislative session. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment.